guys, today I am going to prune back the Pinky Winky Hydrangea. I think I'm going to make it into a standard. I already did one of them. There was two of them, if you can remember. There was one here and one here. And I already did the standard on this one over here. So I'm going to work on this one. Uh, basically, choose a straight branch that you can turn into a trunk. And this one I'm just going to do a single trunk. So, uh, not multi, just like uh, the other one that I did with the limelight. But with the Pinky Winky, I think I'm just going to do a single trunk um, standard. Just pick one that works the best and we'll go from there. Wow, this one's a thick one. Not sure if I can get to it. Ooh. Okay. I think that one's gonna be too thick for me. I'm gonna need a hubby. Zina, stay. Can't ever do it straight. Okay, I think I'm gonna need the hubby to come and trim this one off. It's just too thick for me. And there you go. It's a mess. But that is a single trunk. Can you see it? Kind of hard to see it, but right where Zena's walking. So that is one. And then, of course, the other one. Let me see, it's over here. Ooh. The other one is right there. So one and two. So now all we have to do, this one is so big over here. Hang on. Let me take you off. Sorry, I'm going to take it off the stand real quick. See this one? I tried to cut it, but it was so thick I split it right there. It's like really thick. So I'm going to have the hubby come in and help me remove this part. And then it'll be a clear cut. And then all you've got is this straight stem. That will eventually be your leading trunk. 
for your standard Pinky Winky. So most of you will know what Pinky Winky looks like, but this is what it looks like. It's from from Proven Winner. And it's really pretty. But again, I haven't gotten it to look like this yet. Um, but I'm going to give you a little bit of the instructions on it. Sorry. So, Hardy Zone 3 through 8. Um, size is from 6 to 8 feet tall and wide. So, if you don't have a lot of space, the standard is probably best for you because then that way it'll give you a lot of space underneath to plant and then you can have a really pretty looking um, treetop growth on top. Everything else is still doing okay over here. This one I did the same thing, cut it all the way down, just chose one strong stem straight up to be my leading one. And um, over here is the one that I did with the multi trunk that we're going to dig up tomorrow. And over here, this is the other limelight that I was thinking of doing the same thing. But see how it doesn't have as many strong, sturdy, straight stem. It Honestly, if you look at it, it only has one. This one right here. This is the one that is just straight. If you look all the way down, see how it goes all the way straight down to that branch right there. So that's really the only one that is straight. So I could always turn that one to an, into a single trunk instead of multi-trunk or leave it as a bush. Either way, it'll be really pretty. But I'm sorry I've been so busy getting everything dug up and move. I haven't really had time to do too much video. These are all the maple that I found into in the woods and I dug them up. I'm gonna take them with me. I dug up some um, butterfly bush over here. And over here I propagated some uh, camellia and this is just sand as a median. Um, just did that really quickly today. Um, they are the longest, um, they usually take the longest time to um, grow roots. So I put it in now and then wait till like mid next year. I dug up two, oh, what are these? My mind just totally went blank. Azaleas. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I dug up two azaleas. They're both pink. One is more fuchsia magenta. The other is more pink pink. Um, I'm going to take these two with me. And then all of my hydrangeas I dug up. Well, not all of them, but the ones that I want to take with me. So I'm soaking them right now. Um, I mainly just grab the root um, itself and not really the dirt. So I'm soaking the roots now and then putting them in boxes overnight. And then tomorrow we're gonna to take them to the property and then just um, dig them into the ground. Same with over here, whole bunch over here. And then I am gonna go dig up my butterfly standard. So give me just one moment and I will get that set up. 